Well, good afternoon. Thank you very much for braving all the allures of Vegas to be here this late on a Saturday afternoon. I will be talking to you about some breakthrough research on the role of togotrienols and their applications in skin care. And if you wonder what is the link between really these togotrienols and skin care, one word is radio production. Actually, the research I will be talking about today is carried by the Armed Forces Radiobiology Research Institute. This is in Bethesda, Maryland, across from the National Institute of Health, the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences, and we participated in that research and we're very excited about the results. In the past, we are worried about radiation from nuclear war. Today, I guess we are worried less about the nuclear war, but we are still at the risk of exposed to radiation. We very recently reminded about the, what happened in Fukushima in Japan with the accident and the release of nuclear radiation. And we know that the effects can cross country borders and can be carried around the world. And for those that are a little older, they may remember the Three Mile Island accident and the major concern about radiation exposure. But by far, they made the largest nuclear accident in the history of the world has been the one in Chernobyl. The place that this happened is still a ghost town, and the people that we are exposed to radiation are still suffering the effects of that, of that exposure. Today, we are wor worried about, of course, nuclear accidents, but we are worried also about people that may have hostile intent and they may explode a nuclear weapon. Just a little background information on radiation. You may have heard some of these names, alpha, beta, neutron, x-rays, I'm sure everybody, and gamma. And this is what we call the ionizing radiation. It can, is more damaging than the non-ionizing radiation. And those, the non-ionizing, ionizing is some of the radiation that we are all exposed from infrared to microwave to radio waves. Our cell phones emit some radiation. We'll focus today on two areas of radiation, the ones that are really the most damaging ones, and that's the gamma rays and the ultraviolet radiation, and of course the X-rays, which is something that many of us are exposed to. And as you see, the wavelength is really what separates the different types of radiation. You see that the gamma rays have some of the smallest wavelength and it increases as we go to the X-rays and the ultraviolet radiation. And why is the gamma radiation so damaging? As you can see from this slide, the gamma radiation will penetrate paper, plastic, steel, and even lead. So it's very penetrating and it can damage practically every tissue in our body. You see that the beta radiation is less damaging, but still it can penetrate and get in our tissue. The beta may be protected with a plastic cover, and the alpha, because of the large particles, it can be protected very easily. So the smallest the wavelength, the largest the risk from radiation. And if we are looking at the United States National Research Council, it tells us that there is no safe threshold of radiation. Any amount of radiation can be damaging, especially if it's over a long period of time. So the, the objective is to be to minimize any exposure to radiation. Many of you will be familiar of the adverse effects of the radiation, the acute radiation syndrome includes nausea, loss of appetite, damage of the bone marrow, that's a major damage, and of course major damage to the skin, and it can 
affect the immune system with lower uh, uh, re resistance to this infection and chronic diseases, and of course, exposure to radiation may lead to death. Different tissues in our body have different sensitivity, and the most sensitive one is really the blood tissue and the hematopoietic system, the bone marrow that makes the, red blood, uh, the blood cells. The soft tissue, the reproductive and gastrointestinal tract organs, the skin, and the least affected is the muscle and the brain. So we see that the softer tissues are more sensitive to the damage of radiation. <clears throat> 